watery eyes or tearing is a source of concern in small babies. Now tears are produced by small glands that are below the upper eyelid. They go around making the eye moist and clean and finally they drain into the nose. Some babies can have a blocked what we call tear duct and these babies can have tearing and sometimes even crusting of the eyelids. Usually this block goes away on its own. But sometimes the doctor would tell you to do what we call a tear duct massage. And I'll show you more in this video. So what should you do if you have a baby with watery eyes? First of all you need to clean the eyes. So you can take some cotton, dip it in boiled and cooled water and gently wipe the eyes from inside to outside using separate cotton for each eye. The second thing is to do what we call a tear duct massage. So what do you do? You massage gently along the side of the nose from the corner of the eye down in long sweeping movements. Press gently and firmly or you can even do long ovals. You do this about four or five times uh, each time you do it and you do it about three to four times a day. With time the tear duct block is relieved and the baby will be okay soon. Now how do you know that the baby doesn't have an infection? Because an infection can also cause watery eyes. If your baby has redness of the eye, swollen eyelids or yellowish or green secretions from the eye, your baby could be having an infection and you shouldn't be taking care of this by yourself. At every step you must seek advice from your pediatrician. If your pediatrician asks you to do massage, you do massage. He may sometimes prescribe eye drops also. 